Hello, I'm Alice. I live in Southeast Michigan, planting zone six. I like to share recipes, organic gardening methods, and preserving techniques with my viewers who love to cook and garden, so therefore they get the most out of their harvest. This is Sally. Occasionally you will see her in the background because she's always supervising to make sure I have quality assurance. Today I'm going to be focusing on debunking some myths on tomatoes. Everyone wants that vine ripened tomato because it tastes better, right? Well, did you know that there is a stage in the tomato that the gas is released? That's what gives it the red color. And a lot of manufacturers have vine ripen in order to ship the tomato and have you know, a little bit tougher skin and not be so soft and punctured, they will have it in a ethylene gas chamber and help it get to the red color but still have a nice skin on it. As a gardener, we can individually take care of our tomatoes and they taste amazing. I like to take it off at the pink stage where it has a little bit of red, but it's still a lot of green. The reason I do that is because the stem's done everything it was supposed to do. I don't have to worry about animals getting it, and I can bring it in the house and finishing the ripening process by using a paper bag. Recycle, reuse, right? So the gases will naturally form around the tomatoes and they will ripen. And a lot of people are thinking, don't refrigerate your tomatoes because it's going to ruin the flavor. Yes and no to that one. There is a stage into where they're almost they're almost super ripe. All the process and the flavor is good. So in order to harvest and I got a lot coming at me, I will put the tomatoes in a produce bag like this, put them in the fridge that's at the stage where they're almost completely ripe. I don't lose any flavor and I got a little time saved. There is a idea out there that you could only use the sauce type making tomatoes like the paste or the plum like a Roma or a Sam Marzano to make sauce. Well I'm here to tell you I see why people do it is because it has less liquid and there's a lot more flesh inside. I use that to keep my sauce consistency nice and thick but I will add a bunch of varieties to give a complexity to my sauce and what I do is I use the skin in everything. I puree it in my Vitamix blender. I don't have the issue of the little slits that you get and that's why the recipes tell you to, to blanch and remove the skin. So I get all of the nutrients in the skin. I get a variety and complexity from my sauce from all these different tomatoes. It does take a little bit longer because there's a little bit more of a liquid content with the water inside of the tomato but way worth cooking it and bringing it down to reducing. It's probably about 15, 20 minutes longer, so why not? If you enjoyed today's episode, click that like button so therefore the algorithm will work in your favor. And by subscribing to the channel, you will be notified of new content.